If you've ever been to someone's office, chances are they have a candy jar on their desk. That's honestly the main reason for a lot of the visits I make during the day. At the very least, it's a great side benefit. Today, I want to share with you the granddaddy of all candy jars. It's an entire candy desk. So where is this legendary object? It's on the floor of the United States Senate. My name is Glenn Thurston, and this is Dialing In. Candy Desk was started in 1965 by Senator George Murphy from California for the same reason that candy jars exist. He wanted to have candy on the floor to snack on and wanted to share it with his colleagues in the Senate, more or less. So why not have a jar on your desk? This is purely speculation on my part, but I can think of two reasons. First, the Senate rules actually prohibit eating on the floor. Having a jar would be too conspicuous. Second, the Senate desks are not very big to begin with. Some of these desks have been around since 1819, part of the original set commissioned after the War of 1812 destroyed the U.S. Capitol. There isn't anywhere to store candy except for inside the desk. Now, the candy desk is the last desk in the back row on the Republican side of the floor. Its placement is partially tradition and partially strategy. The desk location is near the entrance to the Senate floor coming from the Capitol subway system which is a popular method of transportation for senators coming to vote. One problem is getting candy to fill the desk. Senate rules, those pesky Senate rules, prohibit senators from accepting more than $100 in gifts per year from a single source. Thankfully, there is an exception for items coming in from the state the senator represents, as long as the senator or his staff are not the primary recipients of the gift. Basically, you can accept as much candy as you want for the purpose of giving it to other senators as long as the candy is from your state. Currently, Senator Pat Toomey from Pennsylvania occupies the candy desk. This is great news for the senators since Pennsylvania is the home of the Hershey Chocolate Company. We tried to reach Senator Toomey's office, which means I tried to message his page on Facebook, so it's not really surprising we didn't get a reply. But I was going to ask him about what kind of candy he has in the desk, what he does with all the books and papers that the candy is displacing. Thankfully, his office had previously issued a news release about the kinds of candy he would be stocking. Sources of delicious Pennsylvania confections include Just Born, the makers of Peeps and Mike and Ike's, the Mars Plant, which manufactures items like Mars Bars and Three Musketeers, and of course, the Hershey Company. I'm pretty sure you know what they make. As for Senator Toomey's paperwork, all we know is that it isn't in the candy desk. Thank you for listening. This episode of Dialing In was recorded and produced in the city of Four Lakes, Madison, Wisconsin. Our appreciation goes out to Polyplus for releasing their music under a Creative Commons license. Tweet or comment with ideas for future shows at GK Thurston on Twitter, on SoundCloud, or wherever else you found this podcast.